Hi, I'm Burr Stewart, and this is a brief video about an experiment that I did to use a sidearm tripod with an Osmo Mobile 3 handheld gyroscopic stabilizer to see if it would improve my videography of model railroad trains. In particular, I wanted to see if the Osmo's automatic tracking feature would provide an advantage over just rotating the camera in a tripod mount. This is what I've been doing for my video series so far, but the tripod legs keep me from getting the camera very close to the scene. On a tip from Craig Symington, I went out and purchased a combo boom stand, which is essentially a sidearm mount on a tripod. This fixture has a very stable base and is designed for lights as well as cameras. Here I'm adjusting it up so that I can put the camera right out over the layout. Let's take a look at that mounting pin out on the end. It's easy to remove. One end has a standard quarter inch mount for a camera and the other end has a standard 3 8 inch mount for light fixtures. You can find inexpensive uh, swivel adapters for either the quarter or the 3 8 inch fixture. I used the quarter inch one in order to position the Osmo properly for the photo runbys that we try to perfect for the rest of this video. And you can see here we could mount the camera facing up or we could mount it upside down hanging from the boom arm. And if you want to extend it way over the layout, there's provision for a counterweight. You can insert weights in this bag and make sure the whole thing doesn't tip on your layout. Enough preliminaries, let's get back to work. What we want to do is run by using the Osmo for smooth following. This view is taken with my cell phone mounted in the Osmo, but without the automatic tracking feature turned on. Now I have the Osmo cell phone combination tracking the BN logo on engine 6004. This rotation of the camera is an automatic motion created by the Osmo. At this distance away from the locomotive, the rotation of the view seems pretty smooth to me. As the target logo passes out of view, you'll see that the rotation stops altogether and the locomotive continues on. This unfortunately will also occur if the locomotive moves in front of a tree. Now we'll try the same thing with a switch engine, this time a little closer to the camera. You can't really complain about watching trains while you're doing an experiment. You can see the view shaking as I'm trying to push my finger on the screen to activate the automatic tracking feature. I'm having a little trouble learning how to do this. I guess I'll have to stop the locomotive back up and start again. Another question we can ask ourselves is how do we feel about the autofocus of this shot? You can see here that I had to stop the locomotive to activate the auto tracking feature, which shouldn't be necessary and maybe I'll learn how to do it while the locomotive is in motion.
Here you can see with a diagonal motion like this, the Osmo is having a little trouble smoothly rotating the field of view to keep up with the locomotive. On the one hand, I could do this more smoothly if I had it mounted simply in a tripod. And on the other hand, I would have to do the extra work of rotating the camera. Because the way this is going is it's an automatic movement that I'm not having to manually hold on to. The other thing we can take advantage here is that Osmo allows you to zoom into the scene with a button uh, on the Osmo that's communicating with the cell phone's camera. if we could just figure out how to do it smoothly. There we go. I zoomed in a little too far there. Let's see if I can back it out slightly. Oops, I accidentally touched a button that took me back to the original magnification. Okay, let's try demonstrating this auto tracking again. Only this time I'll give you a picture of the actual Osmo device doing the auto tracking. It's still taking me a little time to figure out how to get it to track. There we go. This really isn't too bad. In some ways it's smoother than if I was doing it by hand. As you can see, as it moves out into the distance, it's doing a little bit of back and forth hunting to try to get the smooth angle change. But on the whole, I think it's okay. Doesn't that engine sound great? Now let me try that trick of zooming in on the scene using the button on the Osmo. That seems good. All right, let's go try it now with a high-speed passenger train and see how it looks. Now we'll turn off that switcher and go get a passenger engine. I'll take the camera out for a minute and you can see how the gimbal works. All right, let's do some experiments and see if we can get this rig to work. Here we seem to have a passenger train coming at us at great speed. And I'm trying to see if I can get the gimbal to lock on to the front of the locomotive. Looks like I've completely failed. Nice looking passenger train though. All right, let's try this again. As the train approaches, I'm trying like crazy to tap the screen and latch the camera onto the locomotive. Looks like I might have succeeded. Whoops. What happened there? It looks like the uh, camera was touching the ground. I didn't have the tripod high enough. 
Well, you get a view of the ceiling this way. Not to mention those annoying brake squeals. All right, let's try for a third time and see if we can get this Osmo to latch onto the passenger train. By the way, this supposed high speed is only about 30 miles an hour. Well, the best I could do on this pass is to latch onto the orange baggage car, which is better than nothing, but not ideal. Once again, you can see as soon as the baggage car passed the bridge, the Osmo stopped moving the view. Well, I'm a little discouraged at how difficult it is to latch the Osmo onto the moving train. Maybe we could try another approach where we latch onto the stationary train and then back it up and then run it through the scene. Let's try that and see what happens. I still find it a little difficult to center the Osmo on the device I want to track. I think it's designed for people's faces, so it isn't really used to HO scale locomotives. Not to mention my learning curve. All right, I've got it latched onto the locomotive. Let's see what happens. Remind me to turn down the volume of those darn brakes. Well, it's not really keeping up with the nose of the engine. Oops, and now it's stopped altogether. A rump. All right, you have the stomach to try it again. I think I latched on to the BN logo this time pretty carefully and of high hopes. Here we go. That seems plenty fast enough for a passenger train, doesn't it? Oh yeah, see, it cut the nose off just slightly. But otherwise, it's doing great. And that was smooth panning which was the main purpose of this experiment, was to see if it would do a better job with a faster train. All right, you've been so patient to watch all these experiments. Let's just try one last demonstration. In this case, I latched on to the locomotive side again with the Osmo. And what I want to try doing is overriding manually the controls on the Osmo over the automatic tracking if it doesn't work right. Well, it lost the automatic tracking. So now I'm going to put my finger on the Osmo controls and see what I can do. It seems that the rate with which I can pan the view is too slow to keep up with the train. Also, my panning skills are not what they need to be. So thanks for joining me on this test of some new photographic equipment. To summarize what we learned, you can use a sidearm tripod to put your camera gear closer to the trains 
and overcome the limitations of conventional tripod legs blocking you from getting into the layout. A gimbal-based cell phone holder like this Osmo Mobile 3 is capable of some pretty smooth automatic panning, but as with all high-tech tools, it's going to take me a while to get good at using it. Thanks for joining me on today's public experiment. If you want to see the rest of my layout, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy the other videos that are there. I look forward to getting back to more conventional operations videos soon, and I hope you'll join me there. This is your host, Burr Stewart, wishing you much fun with trains.